ragazze, buongiorno! Buongiorno, professore! Oggi parliamo delle religioni in cui noti in Italia. Today we'll be talking about the religions known here in Italy. As we all know, as the heart of one of the world's most significant religions, Italy has always been a destination for those who seek religion as a way of life and those who wish to explore the roots of the world. Italy has a unique way of encouraging every religion in their heritage. 2,000 years of Christianity has permitted, was permitted in Italian's life. The Vatican City was established in 1929. The Vatican is the home of the government of Roman Catholics, Church, and the Pope, El Papa. The spiritual leader of the world's Roman Catholics, as well as the own peacekeeper of the force and Swiss Guard. The Vatican has its own post office, newspaper, and radio and TV. It also mints coins and uses stamps. The Catholic Church enjoys considerable fluency, partly by virtue, virtue and historical traditions. Other religion groups in Italy include 1 million Muslims, 700,000 Christians, 550,000 Protestants, 235,000 Jehovah Witnesses, and 45,000 Jews. 85% of us in Italy are Catholics. This is why we endure the Catholicism as one of our main things here in school, like subjects, matters of math, reading, and so much more. We are going to discuss Los Sete Sacramenti. Do you guys remember the seven sacraments in which we discussed earlier this week? Can someone tell me? Baptist, um... Baptism. Perfect. Baptism removes the guilt and effects of original sin. Who else can tell me another sacrament? Yes? Confirmation. That is great. Confirmation perfects our baptism and brings us grace and Holy Spirit. What else can we discuss about sacrament earlier this week? Communion. Communion. That is a very good one that you brought up because communion is the reception of, of Christ's body and blood as well. That is when you receive the bread, which is in the form of the body of Christ, and the wine, which is in the form of the blood. What else can we dis did we discuss earlier this week? Holy order. Of course you can go to the bathroom. Remember, next time we have to raise our hands and then say that you have to go to the restroom. <clears throat> Before she returns, I want to discuss another sacrament in which we were talking about. Um, which one was the one that you were mentioning? Holy Order. Perfect. The Holy Orders is when Christ's priesthood was bestowed upon his apostles. He sent them all out to say the word of God and heal those in need. Any more over here? Yes. Um, the anointing of the sick. The anointing of the sick is, the administ is administered both in the dying and those who are gravely ill. When this occurs, it's the under 
undergoing of serious recovery with health and spiritual strength by the word of God, done by priests at the moment. Yes. Confession. Confession, that is a great one. It's reconciling us to God. It is a great source of grace. And last but not least, marriage. Marriage. Marriage is a lifelong union between what? Two man and a woman. A man and a woman. Very well done. I hope you all wrote down your notes today, and I hope you do re um, go over this at home with your parents, just in case you have any questions about los sete sacramenti de Italia, in, que, in cui nosotros eh, practiquiamo aquí en nuestra clase. I hope you all go home and record this as one of your data entries in your notebook, and even if you have any questions with your parents that you want to discuss, of the seven sacraments, you can go over it, in which we have done all week long, and this was a great review. Thank you very much, class.